celebrates its first National Space Day on 23rd August, commemorating the historic achievement of Chandrayaan 3's successful landing near the moon's southern polar region. We gather here at Isokiravandapuram for a special institute colloquium. It is with great pleasure that I warmly welcome you all to this event. We are honored to have distinguished guests among us today and we look forward to an insightful and inspiring session. Chief guest of the day, Dr. V. Narayanan, Distinguished Scientist and Director of LPSC ISRO. Thank you, sir. Now I invite Professor P. George Thomas to deliver the welcome address and moderate the session. Professor Jain Murthy, Director of the Institute. Today's Chief Guest, Dr. Vinarayan, Director of the LPSC, Liquid Propulsion System Center, Trivandrum. Professor Srinivasa Murthy, Deputy Director of the Institute. Dr. Kavita is uh, accompanying, he's a, a, a PhD in biochemistry and as a professor. Dear students and colleagues, as you are aware, Government of India has declared August 23rd as National Space Day to celebrate the extraordinary success of Chandrayaan 3 mission, which accomplished the historic soft landing of Vikram lander near the south pole of the lunar surface. To commemorate this momentous achievement, both Government and non-governmental institutions across the country are celebrating Space Week with various activities. Today, Aisu Tirvandaram is privileged to have a distinguished space scientist, Dr. V. Narayanan, as an institute colloquium speaker. His invaluable contribution to the India Space Program has have been instrumental since 1980. Most respected and beloved J. N. Murthy, Professor J. N. Murthy the distinguished director of this great campus, Isaac Trivandrum. By seeing the campus, uh, almost 20 minutes, I could understand the type of leadership role and contribution made by uh, J. N. Murthy, Professor J. N. Murthy, along with his colleagues to build this campus, I can understand. So, kudos to the entire team of ISER who have built this beautiful campus. And the deputy director, uh, Srinivas Murthy, I think both are Murthy's, and I could spend a couple of minutes, maybe 20 minutes, uh, such a humble and simple person explaining the entire thing. And uh, he took me back to the school days on physics, chemistry, some fundamentals. And Professor Jos Thomas, again a well honored and distinguished, distinguished person, and distinguished you know, faculties, deans, and my dear young friends, very, very. Good, good afternoon to all of you. Really, I am so touched and uh, I feel honored and privileged to stand in front of you on this occasion uh, in which you are celebrating the National Space Day. You all know uh, last year, 23rd, I think you would have seen in the TV and you would have heard the news. Last year, 23rd was a historical day for the Indian Space Program and the entire Indians and we landed the Chandrayaan 3, our cute baby, near the south pole of moon in the evening around 6.07 or so. And India became the first country to accomplish that landing near the south pole and made all the Indians proud. And you know, that was a very historical and touching moment. Uh, when, uh, if you see the Indian space program when we started, we were almost 60 years behind the developed countries. From that humble beginning, we have accomplished that feat. And 
they were almost uh, important payloads i am going to address those things later and all the payloads worked fantastically well and lot of scientific discoveries and we have donated the entire scientific data to the scientific community of the world and important thing of that mission was this is one of the mission we have integrated 140 crore indian across the globe that was the major achievement of that mission and that day honorable prime minister has declared as the national space day and every year it is going to be celebrated and we are going to have a celebration in fact today 7 20 night i have to catch the flight to delhi for participating in the celebration day after tomorrow it is planned in delhi and it is celebrated across the uh, country and as part of that when professor murthy when he called to be frank i was uh, so tight but then i had to respect his call such a great person when he calls immediately i readily accepted but of course a little bit timing change i had to do in the last minute so that's why i am here and you know there is we are having one hour one hour ten minutes maximum so hope uh, i will take you through the uh, the entire uh, uh, 62 years of activities of the indian space program is put in something around the 60 slides so hope will do justice in communicating what are all the major accomplishments. So I have taken the topic as Indian Space Program, the pride of the nation. That is the topic in which I am going to speak. You know, uh, uh, the vision of uh, Sarabhai, Sarabhai, I think I may not explain to this audience. You all are well educated, you all know. Uh, he is the father of Indian Space Program. And the vision is very clear and we should be second to none in bringing benefit to the common man through the advanced technologies like space technology that is the vision now you know when we got independence in the year 1947 uh, you all the youngsters may not be knowing i think elders will be knowing the status of the country we were 97.5 percent of people were below the poverty line and the education there was no icer no iits no iams that was the stature and at that point of time somebody has thought that uh, we can bring benefit to the common man and the space activity started in the year 1962 now, to bring the benefit to the common man through the space system, we have to have three major developments. One is we have to develop satellites of different types, different class, and we have to conceive and build the satellites. That is one technology. Second thing is to place the satellite in the orbit. Technology could be effectively leveraged to tackle the problem of society and the country. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, was founded in August 1969 and it was brought under the Department of Space in September 1972. The prime objective of ISRO is the development of advanced space technology and application of space technology for societal, commercial, developmental and strategic requirements of the country. While the 1970s were the period of conceptualization, the 1980s were the period of experimentation, which saw the demonstration of end-to-end -end capabilities through Aryabhatta, Bhaskara, Apple Experimental Satellites, and SLV and ASLV Development Launch Vehicles. These initiatives laid a strong foundation for realization and deployment of operational Indian National Satellite System, INSAT, Indian Remote Sensing Satellite System, IRS, and for development and operationalization of Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV. ISRO functions through various centers and units located across the country. ISRO has been making a steady progress in development and deployment of state-of-the-art infrastructure and systems. ISRO has successfully developed different class of launch vehicles for launching satellites of different payload capabilities. The PSLV, GSLV, LVM3 and SSLV have shown their precise performances in placing satellites to various orbits of Earth including LEO and GEO, further to the orbits of Moon and Mars. Recently, ISRO successfully conducted the demonstration of autonomous landing of reusable launch vehicle, RLV-LEX. Further, 
ISRO is pursuing its endeavors to develop next generation launch vehicle with higher payload capability while offloading the operational launch vehicles to industry. ISRO has launched fleet of communication satellites including high throughput satellites into the geostationary orbit for meeting the requirements of television broadcasting, VSAT services, internet broadband, cellular backhauling, island connectivity, telemedicine and teleeducation applications. ISRO has launched several Earth observation satellites, namely CARTOSAT, RESAT, OceanSat, and also meteorological satellites for various applications in Earth and ocean resource monitoring, resource management, geospatial applications, and for weather and climate applications. The satellite data are regularly provided to various user ministries and other users. These satellites play a significant role in disaster management in the events of floods, forest fire, earthquake, landslide, tsunami, etc., saving valuable lives and assets. The satellite data have been consolidated, value added, and made available to various users through platforms like Bhuvan, Mosdaq, and Vedas. Several government and private users are deriving the benefit out of these portals. NAVIC is a navigation system of India with a constellation of satellites operating from geostationary and geosynchronous orbits. NAVIC provides the position, navigation and timing services for civilian and strategic applications. ISRO is constantly continuously contributing to the capacity building in space infrastructure and human resources in the country through various sponsored R&D programs and outreach activities. ISRO actively collaborates with other space agencies and organizations worldwide. It not only partners with the spacefaring nations but also works with space aspiring nations in sharing expertise in space technology and applications. ISRO's contribution with space science missions, namely ASTROSAT, Aditya L1, and EXPOSAT is significant for the space research. Several national and international researchers and institutions have made use of the data from these satellites and brought out publications in renowned international journals. ISRO also undertook space exploration missions of Chandrayaan and Mars orbiter missions to study Moon and Mars while developing the critical technologies. India has successfully landed its Vikram lander of Chandrayaan-3 closer to the southern polar region of the Moon. It has also deployed Pragyan rover to explore the lunar surface. These missions have not only expanded scientific knowledge, but also have garnered international acclaim. Efforts are continued to scale new heights in this journey. Gaganyaan project of ISRO envisages demonstration of human spaceflight capability. The mission is to orbit Indian astronauts at 400 kilometers altitude for one to three days and bring them back to Earth safely. Various precursor missions are in progress for demonstrating the technology preparedness levels before carrying out the actual human space flight mission. These demonstrator missions include integrated airdrop tests, pad abort tests, and test vehicle flights. Safety and reliability of all systems will be proven in unmanned missions before the manned mission. As announced by Honorable Prime Minister of India, 2035, space ISRO is working on realizing an Indian space station, namely Bharatiya Antariksh Station, by 2035. 
and to land an Indian on moon by 2040. The journey of Indian space program continues to grow to serve the nation, the citizen and the humanity at large. I request the director, Professor J. N. Moti, to present a memento as a token of her appreciation. 